All right, good day everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Luke Harlow with the UFIFIS Union County Extension Office. I'm here with two of my colleagues today and we're going to walk you through the process of how to calibrate your boom sprayer. Uh, and this is really important uh, for several reasons, um, both for an a economic standpoint, but a pesticide application standpoint is we want to make sure that your boom sprayer is applying the same amount of product from one nozzle to the other. And then you're also applying it uh, on your given pasture or hay land um, from one area to the other. So we want to make sure that it's an appropriate amount of product. You're not losing any product. Um, and you're not over applying. So we're gonna walk you through that process today. Um, and we're gonna talk a little about uh, the boom itself and then go into the actual calibration process. Hi everybody, I'm Jay Capasso. I work for UF IFAS Columbia County Extension. Today we are calibrating a boom sprayer and we're also calibrating gallons per acre sprayed. Now this is the personal protective equipment you're going to need for this activity. You're going to need gloves. It's really important that you protect your hands and your forearms when you're calibrating gallons per acre sprayed. Most pesticide injury occurs to the hands or forearms, especially during the mixing and loading phase. You're going to want a measuring cup that's large enough to be able to catch solution for at least 30 seconds. You're going to want measuring tape. You want to make sure that each of your nozzles have equal distance apart. And you're going to want a hundred foot measuring tape to be able to pick out point A and point B to travel over to calibrate distance or calibrate gallons per acre spread. And you're also going to want flags to be able to mark out point A and, po and point B to be able to calibrate gallons per acre spread over a given distance. All right, so one of the first steps we wanna make sure on your boom is that each nozzle is equally spaced apart. And we do that to make sure that um, along the line, each of them is gonna be applying the same amount of product out of those nozzles from the left side of the boom to the middle to the other right side of the boom. All right, so as you can see, this distance between these two nozzles is 22 inches. And if we go to take a look at this one, you'll notice that this one is 20 inches. So what we need to do is correct that to make sure that they're gonna be an even uh, 21 inches or 20 inches or whatever this boom is supposed to be. We know on this, this boom sprayer, it's supposed to be 20 inches. So I've gotta move this nozzle back in to make sure that I've got 20 inch spacing, 20 inch spacing all the way down. All right, so now that we've corrected our boom length and so we know they're all equal, the next step is we can actually start to calibrate along the boom itself and make sure that every nozzle is putting out the same amount of product that each other one does. And the way we're going to do that is by um, pretty much turning on the boom and collecting the water after every nozzle. Because uh, your boom sprayers are putting out product, we want to make sure we're wearing our PPEs, and that includes gloves, eye protection, long sleeve shirts, and rubber boots so that you're protecting yourself so you don't get any exposure from any uh, potential chemicals that are left in your uh, boom sprayer, the tanks. So hello everybody, my name is Paulette Tomlinson. I am the Ag and Natural Resources Agent for Columbia County and I'm here today just to help turn the boom sprayer on. Uh, Luke already has his PPE on, so we don't want him to have to take it off and, and turn it on and normally most of you will have already started your tractor and have the boom running and uh, have your gloves on in the process, so I'm here to do that. Thank you. Now one thing we're going to want to do is you want to let the boom sprayer pressurize so you know you got a consistent flow of water coming through. And then Ms. Paulette's going to start the timer. We're going to do it for about 30 seconds. As long as you're consistent along the boom and measuring each one at the same time, it really doesn't matter too much. Some people do it at about 15 seconds, some do it at 30. So because we've got a big catch can, we can do it at 30, but if you've got a smaller catch can that you're using, 15 seconds is probably what you're going to want to use. So we're going to go now. And you want to get it up nice and close so that you're not losing any of your uh, product out of the catch can. And again, we're going to do this for about 30 seconds. All right, so we've gone for 30 seconds for running the boom. We've collected uh, from two different nozzles, nozzles one and three. Uh, and so now we can kind of measure to make sure that these are equal. So. You're gonna to wanna to hold it up to eye level and wait for it to stop moving before you make your decision on what it is. 
This one is about 10 ounces, and we already measured the second one, which was also 10 ounces. So that tells us that nozzle one and three are putting out the same amount of liquid. Uh, so that's gonna be a good thing that we'll wanna try. Next step is you wanna do nozzles two through 10, or how many ever nozzles you have on your boom, whether it's a 60 foot boom or a 10 foot boom, you wanna make sure that every nozzle is gonna be equal to the next. Okay, so we went through and we collected all seven nozzles and we found that we had one that was at nine ounces and the rest were all at 10. What that tells us is that we, even though that's a little off, we're still within a 10% range. That's the part that you have to, the reason why you collect every single nozzle is so that you are putting out the same amount of spray out of each one with a less than 10% difference. Now, had we had a clogged nozzle and say one only collected five, five ounces, um, there's a couple of things we could do. Probably the easiest thing to do is go to the store and buy a new nozzle, which if you don't have an extra set of nozzles on hand, you probably ought to keep some on hand. Uh, the other thing that you might be able to do is maybe it just got clogged. Maybe there was something in your spray tank that dislodged and come through and you've, you've got a, a solid or something in there. So you would remove the nozzle um, and then for, uh, for safety sake, do not blow into the nozzle. Uh, you're going to need to probably take a something and try and, and maybe shake it a little bit and blow it out somehow, maybe with some forced air from a uh, an air tank, but never blow into the nozzle as that could uh, cause you some serious harm. Using the 1 1 28th method, we're going to calibrate from point A to point B, traveling over 204 feet to determine gallons per acre sprayed. We travel 204 feet because of the spacing between our nozzles. We have 20 inch spacing. So do you know how fast you travel when you spray pesticide? Whether it's in RPM or miles per hour, that's really important to know when you're calibrating between point A and point B. Because if you are not traveling at your normal speed, you're going to calibrate incorrectly. It is important that you're traveling, you know your speed, because if you're traveling at three miles per hour between point A and point B, you're going to put out twice as much pesticide than if you're traveling at six miles per hour. All right, so now that we um, determined our speed that we traveled, which for our example, we went 31 seconds over the course of 204 feet, and again, that's based on the distance of our uh, nozzles on the boom. Um, we're gonna be able to calibrate this. And the next step is we need to run the boom sprayer again and catch that amount of liquid for that exact time of 31 seconds. So we're gonna re-engage the boom sprayer um, and we're gonna let it initialize and come forward and operate it for 31 seconds, catching the liquid that comes out of it. And that will give us pretty much our, our gallons per acre that we're going to be uh, treating out of the boom sprayer. So. All right, ready? And go. All right, so we have um, run the boom for 31 seconds, caught that total amount of liquid that came out of it. And again, we are looking at it at eye view so we can get a good idea. If we were too low, we may be seeing a different number than what is uh, actually in there. So again, you wanna take a look at it at eye height and we are exactly at 10 ounces. Um, so what that gives us is a number of ounces is gonna be equal to the number of gallons per acre. So since we ran this for 31 seconds, caught 10 ounces, we know that this whole boom is going to give us uh, 10 gallons per acre of treating area. And that is pretty much one of the last steps of our uh, pesticide boom sprayer calibration.